14 жовтня це певна символічна дата. October 14th is a symbolic date, and it is symbolic indeed. You cannot say that it just came out of nowhere in one day. Maria Tachtaulova is an employee of the Ukrainian Institute of National Remembrance. She is also a guide, and today school children and university students take part in her tour. The tour is about the lives of three Ukrainians, Mazepa, Petlura and Bandera. Yet information is presented from an unusual perspective. We tell you about the lives of Ivan Mazepa, Simon Petlura and Stepan Bandera by showing their lives as if they had social networks. Their pages have debates in comments about certain moments in their lives, mainly about the challenges that they had to overcome or react to. There are also places they visited. Daria Kolesnik is in the 11th grade and she's homeschooled. She says that learning history in school was boring because students have to write down things and memorize. But if it only was gamified with social networks included, Daria believes it could have been so much more interesting. Social networks are very popular among teenagers and youth of Kharkiv. I believe they are easy to understand. Ihor Tsihanenko is a participant of the ongoing war for the independence of Ukraine. He took part in the liberation of Slovyansk and was in the first wave of mobilization serving in the National Guard. He says that he understood the true value of freedom and the necessity of the fight for independence only after fighting in the war. He came to the exhibition to learn more about Ukraine's national heroes. This is an exhibition that demonstrates who Bandera and Petlura really were, instead of all this propaganda we hear. It shows real stories that are part of our independence. You've never gave it attention in the school, did you? Of course you didn't. It was completely different. You can learn about the people who fought for Ukraine's independence for yourself in Kharkiv till the end of October. After that, the exhibition will visit other cities of Ukraine. Reported by Natalia Bilokudra, UATV.